Welcome to another super easy recipe. Today I'm going to be making carbonara. It's an incredibly easy dish to make and requires very few ingredients. Indeed, it's the kind of dish you'll make if you have nothing left in your cupboard. All you need is some ham, cheese and pasta of any description and an egg. Now normally I make this dish with bacon, but today I have some lovely pancetta from Italy, so I'm going to use that. If you are not using pancetta, then go for smoked streaky bacon, as that has more flavour. Use two or three eggs for two people. I'm using parmesan cheese, but any hard cheese will do. A clove of garlic. An onion. Any type of pasta works with this dish, but I prefer spaghetti. Of course you'll need some olive oil and salt and pepper. To prepare the sauce, separate the yolk from the white. You can use the white, but I find it easier and tastier to use only the yolk. Add some cheese to the yolk with a little black pepper and mix well. I never add any salt to the mixture, as the pancetta or bacon is already quite salty. Next, dice the onion as finely as possible. Usually, I try to eliminate ingredients to make dishes simpler, but for my carbonara, I've added an onion as I think that makes the dish tastier and it gives it a bit of welcomed fibre. Next, cut the pancetta or bacon into tiny strips or cubes. For two people, you only need one or two rashers. When your prep is done, you're ready to start cooking. Add your pasta to a saucepan of boiling salted water. It is very important not to overcook the pasta. If you are unsure, cook it for one minute less than the instructions on the pack. While your pasta is cooking, fry the onions, garlic and bacon or pancetta in a little olive oil. If your bacon is fatty, all the better, just reduce or eliminate the oil altogether. I fried a mixture on a medium heat so as not to burn the garlic and the onions. When the pasta is ready, add it to the frying pan and ensure that you drop some of the salty starchy water into the pan as well. For the best flavour, Thoroughly mix the pasta with the oil and juices of the garlic, onion and bacon and ensure that all the pasta is coated and gleaming. If the mixture is too thick, then simply add a bit more of the pasta water to make it more saucy. The next step is very important. You must remove the pan from the heat and let it cool for a minute or so. Then slowly add the egg mixture to the pan and mix it well. Let the residual heat of the pan gently and slowly thicken the mixture. If you do not allow the pan to cool, it will simply scramble the egg mixture, and that is what you want to avoid in this dish. At this stage, if you think the mixture is too dry, then simply add a bit more of the pasta water. Your carbonara is ready when the sauce is smooth and gleaming. Serve immediately with a generous garnish of parmesan cheese and some freshly ground black pepper.